Hello there, Cancer, and welcome to your timeless oracle messages. I hope you're doing good. And Cancer, let's find out what spirit wants you to know when it comes to your current situation. All right, Cancer, you're doing whatever it takes to get closer to consciousness. And you know what? You are stabilizing things or you just need to trust if you are feeling questionable about circumstances or your st a sense of stability or having it or gaining it, yes, yes, you are, you will. So you are at this place of, you know, more in tuned and aware of a higher power within yourself, within the spiritual realm, and also the material realm as well. My faith has a power to turn trauma into healing, conflict into growth, and fear into love. Yeah, you're a master magician here, turning bad things, or some of you just need to know that you have this ability to do this, to turn things into gold, turn it into something good, and that's exactly what you're doing. You are... Um, I am sensing at the three of pentacles, cancer, or you're coming into that, which means that you can trust that you are attaining, achieving some type of goal that you can be a proud, that you can be proud of. So continue working on trusting, you know, a higher power at this time. Not all is what it seems. I mean, notice the owl. The owl's eyes are closed, maybe even resting. There may be a need for that. Your roots are deeply planted, so trust your uh, ability to stay strong or to take that position of being strong in maybe a face of storm, possibly, because, you know, this tree, I feel, is representing a very strong oak tree. So resilience. What else? So your resilience is paying off and turning into gold. I choose love no matter what. There may be something going on that you have worked through, or maybe there's some of you cancers, you know, that we're just going to have to utilize love to counteract or neutralize other situations or emotions or overthinking and getting into the king and the queen of cups, which is your energy anyways, using empathy to see all sides of a situation. I have, and I do feel that's what that owl is doing, seeing all sides of a situation and also tapping into um, an aspect of oneself where we are the observer remaining objective so that we can see what it, what's necessary to see and not look at what's not necessary to see. This is a power that you have or that you're fine tuning right now. So when you do choose love, you're enhancing your uh, abilities to attract more gifts um, energetically and physically. Okay, let's see what else you need to know. These cards want to come out. Oh my goodness. Planting some seeds in the most fertile grounds. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at how the Knight of Pentacles is taking that gold pentacle, by the way. Remember I was talking about you turning things into gold? That's what you're doing. See? And now you have all of this skill, this protection, and you're going into or you're in the right grounds right now to continue nurturing the things that you you are tuned in with abundance or that gives you abundance. This might be a time that you are giving into a relationship or nurturing a relationship that's important or about to. Because I see this Knight of Pentacles metaphorically is, is or will be impregnating the empress here to form more good things because the empress is the ideal situation or person that you want to plant your seeds in. 
There's a protector here as well. Uh, a guide, a friend. Choosing love no matter what. And seeing something happen when it comes to lavishing in the abundance or a sense of comfort that you deserve. And hopefully you're there. I hope so. Because we're receiving. That's exactly what you're doing. You're receiving. See, you're also rooted strong here with the Empress. Okay, let's see. What else? Now, also with that Knight of Pentacles, it's like slow and steady. You don't have to rush anything. We got the King of Swords. This is, <laughs> this is that as aspect of remaining objective here. Now, we could be um, engaging with someone or a subject or maybe some studies here. Now, if it's not that, there could be this thing where we're making final decisions or someone of a higher power, you know, will finalize things. But the most important thing is having clarity and having things um, come to a conclusion with this King of Swords because you're ready for some type of new experience or to dive into a new experience and see where it goes. I also see something about remaining in the background, but now we're coming more to the forefront with something here. Something that you have learned, solidified here. There could be something about storytelling or book writing or something like that. Just take that if it resonates. But we're coming into a, a, a page energy too. So there is a sense of innocence here, being playful, being curious. Oh, also... You might be this the student or the teacher, someone, you know, that's giving information or receiving the, the information, you know, make sure that you are communicating clearly or just, you know, try not to assume that everyone's going to understand what you're saying. So you may need to use, you know, words that are easy to understand for all uh, ages or just for maybe younger souls or young energy. Okay, so you are embarking on something where you're meant to just feel playful. All right, what else? There's a stream of love supporting my dreams. This is what you need to know right now. You know, I really sense like Ace of Cups coming through feeling that abundance, because that's what the empress would attract, right? Enough water to give to her garden, so to speak, here. You see the waterfall in the background? And see the tree planted? <laughs> There's something about having a backup, too. Like, knowing you have enough to get you through whatever and having backup as well. So there is a stream of love supporting your dreams. I was, I don't know, did I mention about the three of pentacles? Because I was sensing three of pentacles, which is, you know, speaking about building your dreams in a solid form. What else? High Priestess. <laughs> I feel that that's what that owl is. Nine of Wands. Hmm. Okay, I want a little bit more with the Nine of Wands here. I feel that you are doing what you can to preserve your dream or to keep something pure until you know exactly when to plant. Okay. <laughs> Let's get more with the Nine of Wands. Yeah, the hangman. We're not moving too fast here, but you do need to hold steady here. It's all about a steady pace. And, you know, there may be a need to look around or look at what you can sacrifice, maybe a belief, an idea, or something that just doesn't fit you anymore. Because really, whether you were, you know, whether it was like just done, done upon to you, or maybe you've done this, like some type of change happened where you had to give in to some type of transformation. 
So this, this is a time that spirit is giving you some type of relief, actually. <clears throat> okay, so we are taking our time. We are tuning into the magic within yourself and what's possible here. I would say don't go too far into the future because the Knight of Pentacles needs to be really tuned in and aware of environment, um, the present moment, so that we're not missing, you know, the things that needs our attention right now. I feel there may be something here about remaining... Um, Hmm, quiet about something too. So take that if that resonates. What else for cancer? We have the six of swords. Yeah, remaining a silent or quiet possibly here through the uh, some type of journey. Now there could be, you know, a mental or a physical, you know, or both, uh, some type of mental or physical vacation here. But we are moving into calmer waters. Now, we do have to give into some type of mystery, though. That's the thing. But Spirit is saying that, you know, no matter what, you have a guardian angel right behind you. You have the spiritual realm backing you up in all kinds of ways for this transition. And you need to continue to trust now, there may be something with those six of swords being in front here because there is a sense of sorrow here. Let's get more with the six of swords. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius coming through. Also, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Capricorn. Let's get more about the six of swords. Okay, so seven of pentacles, we are in a place of writing, reviewing, finalizing things. And this is what's going to help you make a transition a lot more smoother, if you are willing, and perhaps you're already doing this, to take a step back and look at all that you've done here and, you know, see what worked, what didn't work. You may be sacrificing something here as well and moving on from something. But there is something I'm hearing about a job well done. So hopefully you're noticing that something is, you know, that spirit wants you to notice is a job well done. We could be waiting. Some of you could be waiting. Um, there is something about investments here. There could be something involved with foreign banks as well for some of you, not all of you. So, you know, just take it if it resonates. Okay, I want to see to where this Six of Swords is going for you, Cancer. Where is the Six of Swords going? There's something about a, like, a final review, too. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> you're going to love this. The higher font came out, you know. This is really signifying a higher power at play here. So yeah, maybe it is a little hard to stay dedicated or give to prayer and faith right now because I really feel that's what's happening with the uh, woman and the child that just, you know, represents this energy right now. Something mature, something young at the same time is playing out as well. But a higher power is carrying you. I told you, this is your guardian angel. Wanting you to rest too. So make sure you are taking those moments to rest, recuperate. You know, Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles together is, you know, really analyzing, look at, looking at everything, reviewing uh, plans, revising plans if necessary. See what you want to nurture, um, you know, into the future. Now, there may be something that you don't want to nurture into the future. This is your time to do that or to write them down and, you know, at least get something started with a plan here or knowing what you're going to receive because we are 
or have tended to something that is worth or has been worth tending to because seven of pentacles speaks about your harvest. Okay, what else for cancer? Oh, the magician, you might be doing something solo too for many of you cancers. But what you need will appear. What you need, who you need, information that you need, but you also need to be present and available to see it, right? To be available for it. So yes, you've got this um, capability of being a vessel for great spirit to channel through to you to create something good because you do have everything that you need. <laughs> you got your cups, you got your pentacles, you got your sword, you got your wand, and then you got something extra. One or two things extra here. <laughs> now also spirit is saying heaven is, <laughs> heaven is going to bring you some type of new outcome. So be, you know, open to this new outcome. And something ideal here as well, maybe even a, um, a person here or someone that you could feel that you are in harmony with or a path that you're feeling really in harmony with if you are remaining or doing something solo for some of you cancers, not all of you. The magician is the uh, um, supporting your dreams. Now look at this, this whole thing about stream. I mean, I'm just looking at the water here. I mean, we're going in the right direction here. Heaven is going to send you gifts. An easy transition. Just decide so. Have the intention that it is um, an easy transition. My goodness. Notice all the yellow too. I feel this is um, a lot of sun energy is coming out. It's like the sun really is shining on you. Uh, the sun is following you. Look at the cards. The sun is following you. <laughs> There's only one area that's gray. Not for long, though. And here we are arriving or cherishing these precious moments in time with, you know, the good things that you have worked for, that you have, that's surrounding you. And taking it slow. You're, you're, meant, to you're meant to go at a leisure pace here. Stay vigilant, though, on your dreams and something that's been awakening within you, too. Spirit says protect this energy. It's precious. It's sacred. You're going to utilize it for something later. And it will reap you rewards here. So I see something that we have that we feel satisfied by. We've, we feel like we really are bridging heaven and earth. Because nine of pentacles, we're lavishing in abundance, <laughs> security, uh, you know, feeling valued and appreciated. Yes, and some of you, there's definitely a sense of a single um, person here who also, you know, that others would see as privileged, like a privileged man or woman. Okay, what else? Oh, this one. Oh, these ones come, come right on out here. Okay. Hmm. Very interesting. We've got the five of wands and the knight of wands. It's like, have the courage, you know, don't, don't back down from some type of opposition or there's something about, hmm, I feel like this knight of wands is figuring another way around something because <laughs> that's what the knight of wands would be doing. Um, kind of see it like a, uh, you know, strategist here, uh, quick, th quick, quick to think here. And very instinctual. So you've got every, again, again, cancer. Wow. You got everything that you need. You've got the intelligence. You got the right maturity. You got the, you got, you got everything you need. Let's just say that. And yes, there may be something here where you do need to be aware that there could be a drama, uh, king or queen at play here. But I feel this Knight of Wands is definitely doing something. Oh, wow. He's, he's drawing a sword here too, which is interesting. Or is it a wand? See, that's the thing. You don't even know. It's like 
getting what you need uh, provided for at any moment when you need it. So don't back down from any type of confrontation or opposition, but also pay attention if it's something that's worth, you know, your time and your energy. Cause I feel that you're looking around something here and there is something about Egyptian, um, symbols here, hiero, what, what do you call that? Hieroglyphs. But I'm just seeing something about past life. I feel like there's something going on about the past or past life here. And I am getting the word resurrection. Okay, so let's get more about this five of wands for cancer. What's important for cancer to know about this five of wands? Now, I also see someone is like sticking up or could be sticking up for you working on your behalf here, a watchful eye. Yes. Mm -hmm. When I lean on certainty and faith, I change my mind. Ooh, about the world I see. Ooh, isn't this kind of cool? Cause I feel there's something going on with this knight of wands, you know, in a very sacred place and looking at the world from a different view. So maybe we're seeing things where maybe it triggered us or challenged us in some way where now we're just kind of being a, hmm, an observer here, remaining detached or, or uh, remaining objective here. You may even have, or someone may have the solution to some type of problem, especially if those of you are working with a lot of people or team or something like that. Just take that if it resonates, it won't for all of you. The world I see, I feel that's the king of swords too. The king of swords, excuse me, look at how the king of swords is though. I mean, very certain, right? Leaning on certainty and faith. Here's the higher font. And you can lean because your guardian angel is right behind you. What else? Because you manifested all this. I feel like we should just take those because they were popping out. Okay, okay, okay. Heaven is sending you something here. Recognize it though, okay? Now, there may be something lurking here, or I don't know if I want to use the word lurking, but, you know, this could be your own energy or someone here that, you know, could, I don't know, they just, they want a lot of attention. Like maybe they use their emotions or something to gain attention here. Uh, but anyhow, I do feel that you're going to be receiving some type of important um, communication or opportunity. Okay. To, I don't know, have so, some type of victory here or have, you know, your, you or another be recognized in a special way that's meaningful for you. But we do have victory over something where we just maybe uh, lost hope about or Maybe we're not seeing the opportunity. Okay, so there may be something about that as well. Let's get a little bit more about this Four of Cups. This Four of Cups also has taken time to maybe meditate. It is a card of meditation. Not, I mean, I would say uh, the Four of Swords is a card of contemplation, meditation, but so is the Four of Cups. So... Yeah, we could be distancing ourselves from something here to gain access or information or to hear messages from heaven here to have, you know, some type of victory. Let's get more about this four of cups for cancer. Oh my God, the high priestess here. Just stay in tuned and aware. Something is cycling out. Spirit is helping you with the eight of wands or something that, that is accelerating here for you to feel good about. Now, some of you, there may be a sense of having public recognition. Also, I mean, I'm seeing something good about money here and income. <laughs> okay. Now, we could be disappointed because we don't know everything. We do have to embrace uncertainty, especially when we thought we were certain about something. <laughs> okay. But it's going to be just fine. Spirit is saying, don't um, allow your, well, and I feel some of you, you've already, um, have gotten over this, but try to just be aware, you know, and in tune not to let your emotions just overtake too much because the high priestess is remaining 
vigilant about a dream or keeping something pure until the right timing. She is the bridge and that gap between, you know, what you want or you and the spiritual realm. What else? And we may need to take a little time to be very clear about the dreams that we want to weave right now. And that's what I feel that you're doing with the seven of pentacles is, you know, we got like a notebook and some pen, a pen there and writing things down. And maybe it's time for some new plans or new ideas or new dreams. That way, you know, we can direct the ship. Hmm. I just heard, oh my God. There's a song, an old song. I think it's Enya or is it Enya? Sail, sa sail away, sail away, sail away. And then the three of wands came out. And the three of wands has like boats here, but sail, you know, they look like, you know, sailboats. Um, your ships are coming in. See, you're waiting for the perfect timing, the right um, conditions here. So don't question your abilities either. I feel some of you, you may have had to do something on your own and you may be feeling, you know, a little challenged by the waiting game, but who or what you need and abundance really is attracted to you with the three of wands. And I do see something here where we could have the opportunity to travel or make travel plans or vacation or something like that for some of you. What else? <clears throat> and I, I'll tell you the three of wands is also, you know, an energy that's leaning towards faith. Oh my goodness. Didn't we get, oh yeah, we got the higher font again, just right when I'm talking about the leaning towards faith here. Heaven's heaven's got <laughs> heaven's eyes are on you. Look to the heavens, right? Not at the things. Trust in a higher power right now, too. Some of you, you're being guided to just, you know, maybe um, take things slow, possibly be willing to learn from someone if you need to. Okay, so let's get a little bit more about the higher font. Higher font is also bringing some type of commitment and abundance and authority to one's life in a good way. So let's get more about this higher font for cancer. We've got Taurus coming through with the higher font. Okay, okay. Page of Swords. It's like, you know, having some type of truth and knowledge that's going to carry you forth and also be ready for a new experience here with spirit. You're watching, you're waiting, right? And excited about what's possible here. So something I feel that's going to blow your mind is going to happen here between you and spirit. Prepare and get ready. Take flight. I mean, I just see this page of swords getting ready to take flight, and that's certainly what's happening with you. But we may need to remain patient and calm for the right timing here. What else? This is a watchful eye as well. Okay, that page of swords is like the spy card. Heaven is spying on, on you, right? In a good way. <laughs> Making sure to present something or someone to remind you that yes, heaven is nudging you to continue to lean on faith. There's a lot of royalty here, okay? Eight of Wands again, my God, Queen of Pentacles, a lot of royalty, I'm telling you, or richness, okay? All right, now, we may need to remain strong and grounded here, but trust that what you've been nurturing, heaven is, you know, going to accelerate something here for you. There may be a lot of passion between you and another, so just take that if it resonates, because you're ready. You're more than ready. Now, there's another card that wants to come out with this. So let's see, and then we'll talk more about the Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. There could be a spiritual love or a spiritual connection developing here or 
something passionate developing here. Okay. He um, mm -hmm. Heaven just told me that you would resonate with the um, Chosen Ones reading. Okay, so that was published yesterday. I'll put that, if I remember, hopefully I do. I think I will put that um, link or the video link in the description box below. My capacity to t tune into the energy of love gives me the words I need when I'm ready to speak up, the compassion I need when it's time to forgive and the power I need when I'm lost. So there's something about, you know, getting heaven's um, guidance, but also boundaries here with these things. Knowing when you're, you know, this is why we were talking about you're tuning in to things because you are being offered or you have the ability to have some type of good fortune in your life or some type of abundance in your life where you can nurture people, situations, whatever it is that you want without it feeling like it's taking away too much from you. Because look at how poised, confident, and good the Queen of Pentacles is because she knows how to take care of herself, him or herself. Pay attention to extremes right now and, and try to avoid too much extremes because something is about to take off here with the Eight of Wands. Good. Oh, I, I guess that doesn't even fit into the... Okay, there we go. What else for cancer? Joy is the ultimate creator. Here's the magician. So we're having the sense of rebirth in a way to find our joy because spirit knows something was really disappointing here. <laughs> you know? So we're harnessing joy to create so it's going to show up in a way that's brand new for you or, you know, you might get an idea, you know, whatever it is, be in tune with it because you're, you are, you already are. I feel that you have already sacrificed enough where, you know, you are kind of just swinging here like a compass and allowing heaven to guide you. What else? <clears throat> My fearless freedom lights up the world. That's what you do. You know, you may be working through some fears right now or you have, you know, overcome some fears or you don't, or you just don't, you know, you recognize your fears, but you don't allow it to override a situation. And I am an unapolog, excuse me, I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. I mean, come on, the empress what will grow? We got the seven of pentacles, your garden, the nine of pentacles. I mean, yeah, achievement here. And also being unapologetic about the good things that you have or that you're coming into. But I know that you have some good things. We all have good things. No matter what, we just got to pay attention to that and give that the most power. And that's how you manifest more good things you know, into your reality. When I accept the love of the universe as my primary teacher, here's your primary teacher. Ooh, I love this. I will always be guided back to light. And I can't help but, you know, go back to at the beginning when we're just, I was seeing all the yellows, like the sun is following you. <laughs> yes, of course. I mean, look at the sun burning up that uh, burnt up that f uh, fear or burning the fear up and turning it into gold. <laughs> You're learning how precious your time really is too. Because the universe is your greatest teacher. Because you listen. What a blessing that is in it, in it, you know, in itself because you can hear it. What else? Oh God, it's just so perfect. Oh my gosh, cancer. <laughs> I am, I am a spirit having a human experience and I'm here to get closer to love. Oh my gosh. Coming back home, baby. Right. Feeling at home, no matter what. 
yeah, you have been feeling so, you know, you, you kind of been through it and now it's like spirit really just wants you to get easy again. Um, and it's okay if things, you know, slow down because life will always speed up when it needs to. Okay. But yes, you're, you know, here you are with the page of swords and the higher font here. Like we're really finding, or we're at the beginning of discovering some type of truth and spirit wants you to keep harnessing that and nurturing that. Oh, I just love it. <laughs> love that. Okay. What else? Oh yeah. The death card. Mm -hmm. Here, here's this transformation. We're talking about your rebirth, having a human, excuse me, your spirit. Look at that. So we've raised our vibrations here. We're not going to resist a change either. I mean, we really do have to give in to the necessary changes. Also, mm -hmm, hearing no second chances. Okay, some of you cancers need to hear that about something or someone. Scorpio is coming through with the death card. What else? Oh, my kitty Lenny is at the door making these cute little squealing noises or whatever. He doesn't even really meow. Anyhow, I am the loving energy of the universe. Yes, you are. You see, you're that vessel here, the magician. <laughs> That's why it's important and necessary for you to get back into, if you've been feeling like it's been a little difficult, you know, uh, getting into that energy of love. Cause that's where your stream, you know, is coming through. This is where, you know, the, the material things show up that support your dreams and also the dreams of others. What else? Okay, that one came out. Okay, so we are going to get the, the one. That one came out interesting. Look at that. That devil is a little bit of a devil, little rascal, you. Because <laughs> now we got the temperance right over it. You know, your angel is doing something here to calm things down. Now, for some of you, take it if it resonates. It may or may not. But, you know, there may be something where you have to balance, um, you know, some type of... Um, you know, too much emphasis on sexual matters. Okay. But there is something where we are really having to, um, utilize patience or moderation here. And also patience, um, for some of you cancers, because you were really in a, or you broke some type of strong, like, um, karmic, bond here in a way that was necessary because you're the, you know, the light that can cut through the darkness of the devil here or something or someone evil or that may have the potential to be that, that way. But you are being crowned with some type of victory because heaven has been watching you. You don't need to prove anything either. You know, you're proof enough. Whatever you, whatever you need, spirit is saying is right here already. So pay attention because evil, you know, it does lurk. <laughs> it's just part of life here on planet earth. Okay. But again, we just can remain objective about this. Hmm. Sagittarius is coming through and also Capricorn. And some of you, you may be like, like, um, really, too much like you just you work hard and maybe you're starting to really learn to back off a little bit right to give your because I feel it's more like a physical exertion you know it just really uh, you're, you're learning to back off okay let's see what else eight of pentacles <laughs> oh my god we're just talking about work working hard here okay and remaining dedicated. I know there may be something here where it could be a little bit of a struggle to remain dedicated, but something really is paying off. Let's get a little bit more too about where this um, eight of pentacles is going. Let's see what was behind it. Nice. King of pentacles. My gosh, we got the counterpart to the queen of pentacles. Where is she at? I know she came out. She's out. There she is. 
Okay, where it's going is success. Okay, my cat, Lenny, wants, or my kitten, because he's only five months. I'm going to bring him in. He, he, he will eventually jump up on the table, I'm sure. Okay. Wow. Hard work is paying off or, you know, paying attention to quality, um, becoming more skillful. I mean, some of you, if you've been getting the nudge to learn more or, you know, get more training or whatever, do it, okay? But we have successful plans. We have prosperity. We also have, oh gosh, please, Lenny, don't ruin anything. Don't touch anything on the computer. Okay, little cutie. Okay, good boy. We do have a promising uh, partnership of some kind here, some, ty some type of, you know, bridge and uh, between heaven and earth here. And yes, for some of you guys, you guys are really are manifesting like a, you know, good business person or a good partner, spouse, Okay, whatever it is that you want here. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of pentacles at play. I'm just trying to get Lenny to not go on the computer. Okay, because I feel like we're almost getting close to being done with your reading. So let's see, anything else? Nope. So what we're going to do, <laughs> I said, I'm afraid he's going to hit something on the computer. Now what we're going to do is find out how spirit is helping you. And then we're going to find out a positive that's coming to you and end the reading that way. So how is spirit currently helping cancer oh my gosh Lenny please can you just stay over here buddy please little cutie thank you okay that's how spirit Ooh, that came out five of pentacles we are feeling the extremities of something here okay we could be feeling alone we could have endured a loss oh, look at his face <laughs> he's so cute oh spirit is helping you get comfort in whatever area in your life that you need. And to also not be uh, or do anything that's too risky at this time. And what's so interesting is, because if any of you guys are struggling a bit here with, you know, your resources or being alone, you're getting some type of recovery here because there is so much about <laughs> good wealth, good health, a good occupation or just a, you know, or something that we feel stable in. Wow. Recovery. Okay. Let's find out a positive that's coming towards you, cancer. I feel that Lenny was off absolutely came at the right time to offer you that comfort, that warmth that you need right now, or you could be offering that to someone. Ooh, look at that, the death card again. I'm going to shuffle it again, but wow. Look, look what you have to look forward to here. End of a chapter, not having to go back to something. You'll actually be glad. A positive that's coming towards cancer. Ooh, something to treasure here. So be open to a kind gesture, making new memories, carrying with you something that maybe you didn't believe or something could have taken that belief. And now someone has shown you some type of good gesture or kindness that gives you hope, a rekindling. And yes, we could be looking forward to some type of reunion or a soul connection. However long it comes, it'll just be something that you do cherish. Ooh, I love it. Six of Cups, returning home. Ooh, I feel like this card just wants to, oh my God. Yes, this card wanted to come out. It's a Ten of Cups, being at home. Because you have been doing uh, um, something for a long time. And it is paying off. I mean, look at the, the bridge, you know, of these Ten of Cups going through all of these emotions and getting to that place where we've really fine-tuned contentment within ourselves and another. My goodness, being happy and home and, you know, feeling love all around is what you have to look forward to. Ooh, my gosh. Okay. I hope that this was helpful. Love and light. Take care.